My name is uh, Shivang Joshi, and I'm currently at the Dent Neurologic Institute in uh, Western New York. I'm practicing headache medicine there. I'm also Associate Professor of Clinical Pharmacy Practice at UB School of Pharmacy. And uh, we're looking for new members to join to, to get ideas. And uh, we're all about uh, you know, team-related activities. So uh, we're fun to be around, and uh, it's sort of a no-hassle uh, group. We, we'd like to get things accomplished. Within the uh, trigeminal autonomic cephalalgias, there is a, a severe but rare debilitating headache disorder called cluster headaches. And, you know, there's really not a lot of information or research that's out there. And we have uh, a paucity of treatment modalities available for this very severe headache. So what I'd like to do is get like-minded individuals who have a shared interest in trigeminal autonomic cephalalgias and in particular cluster headaches, and sort of create a think tank and create ideas and uh, come up with projects that would further not only the patients, but also education for physicians within the Headache Society. We have several goals. One of them is to increase awareness of the group itself through, uh, through multimedia advertisement, through just uh, word of mouth. And then uh, we'd like to uh, do more patient advocacy stuff. For example, uh, one of the medications or therapeutic agents used to treat cluster headaches is oxygen. However, there are a lot of insurance companies that don't pay for that. So we'd like to start advocating for that more and see if we can build a collective mass of people and, and maybe get something going. So we would like to collaborate with other special interest sections to uh, create joint projects, uh, for example, you know, if a cluster headache patient went to the emergency room. So what would their experience be and what is, what is not happening? So we would, you know, perhaps come up with a project with the special interest sections for emergency room to uh, develop maybe protocols for the emergency room for cluster headache patients. So protocol development, education, research, lectures are some of the future projects. It's challenging sometimes, and you know, when you start slow, you have to kind of build uh, a group of like-minded individuals who have a common shared goal. So we'd like to make an impact by uh, creating awareness and education, first of all. And I think it starts from the very bottom of educating medical students to residents, to fellows, to primary care physicians, because a lot of these trigeminal autonomic cephalalgias sometimes get misdiagnosed as dental uh, disorders or uh, other non-neurological issues, and uh, they suffer for years. So I think an education campaign of creating awareness and uh, influencing earlier detection and diagnosis of some of these headache disorders may impact patient burden overall.